We hear in Cornwall the winds were 70 miles an hour, they've now dropped to 50 miles an hour. Hmm, the weather's clearing up. Let's go beachcombing. We got blown about. We were cold. Did we get wet? Did anybody get wellies full of water? Hmm, keep watching right to the end. You'll find out. Well, we've arrived at Seaton and looking at the way that River Seaton is flowing into the sea there, I don't know that it'll be a mudlarking day today because we've had horrendous storms, but there's certainly a beach worth investigating. So let's go see what we can find. Windy, I didn't think you'd be able to hear anything we said. There are parts during this video where you can hear us, just about, so I've left those in, but other than that, I have to do a bit of a voiceover. So bear with us because the sound could be a little bit uneven from time to time. It was amazing to see the different colour pebbles on this beach. They ranged from a deep orange right through to virtually white. They almost seemed luminous. They were very clean because the rain had been very heavy and washed them, so the colours were really shining through. It's Phil walking along a very bleak seafront. As you can see, there weren't many people on the beach because it was rather cold. This pebble was gorgeous, it was almost an amber colour and was just spectacular the way the amber contrasted with the white. And this one had pink and white stripes in. I thought that was very pretty. Whoops, the tide nearly caught me there. And a dog did catch me. <laughs> we saw so many dogs on this trip. It says here the road was liable to flooding. We were amazed that there was no flooding because the rain had been so heavy. I love the names on the towns in Cornwall. Well, that was certainly a windy experience. Admittedly, the gales of last night and this morning that were 70, 80 mile an hour down here in Cornwall have subsided to a mere 40 and 50 mile an hour now. But I think we'd better make our way along the coast and see what else there is to discover. Because, boy, that was bracing.
Well, here we are in the ancient market town of Marazaya. This place really flourished prior and into the early 16th century because just over there you've got St Michael's Mount and that was a tremendous place of pilgrimage prior to the Reformation and people came here in their droves and people set up businesses, markets, selling stuff to the pilgrims as they went through but of course business dried up um, around about the mid 16th century and by the end of the 16th century it was pretty much over because of the Reformation and this pilgrimage point was pillaged on two occasions during that century firstly by the French and secondly by the local Cornish rebels so a little bit of history here wonder if you'll find any history on the beach as we have a look today come and join us when we got to Marazai and we realised that it was going to be difficult to record again I did try but you can hardly hear my voice so we gave up and some of the camera shake is just because of the strength on the winds I couldn't even hold the camera straight sometimes it was blowing over wonky there was a lot of seaweed washed up because the tides and the sea had been so rough and so strong I love to see all the different colours, shapes, textures and one blob of tangled seaweed and there were lots of blobs of tangled seaweed Right, I think it's time we should get in the water, so come on, pop your wellies on and in we go. Ooh, that's cold on the toes. This is a perfect opportunity to wash my wellies off because they are rather muddy from the last beach. Look at that poor lump of seaweed getting washed about by freezing cold water. That was such a gorgeous shell. All rainbow colours and then the tide washed it away. What has Phil got? Oh, there's a cute little shell. A big chunk of pottery stone or something like that. You can see the wind blowing ripples in the water and in the distance is Penzance. We'll drive through Penzance very soon. There's St Michael's Mount on the horizon. When the tide is out you can actually walk to St Michael's Mount along a causeway. We've done it in the summer, never in the winter. For houses along a seafront it's surprising how plain these houses were. Often the colours are very bright and vibrant. Look at this very curly piece of seaweed. I'll put my hand by it for perspective. It's quite a big chunk. Very artistic, I thought. Look at the length on this. It seemed to go on for ages. There were lots of very long seaweeds. Hello. Oh, and here's my friend who decided he wasn't going to leave me alone. This piece of seaweed is actually rooted onto the pebble. What have you found? Oh, that's a big deep hole. Oh, that's nice. Is it marble? Sure. I'm not quite sure. Now that's interesting. What do you reckon that is? Stone? close do you think we can get before we frighten these seagulls? Oh, they're starting to get uneasy and there they go. We weren't going to get any close-ups of those today. There were tons and tons of seaweed on this beach. If there was smelly vision you'd really be put off. It wasn't a dirty smell but it wasn't a seaside smell. It was just not pleasant. 
And the further into the seaweed you got, the smellier it got. At this point, it was rather overpowering. Is it another flock of seagulls or is it the same ones? I think they were just hanging around but keeping a safe distance. Oh, Phil has found something else. Oh, it's a bit of glass. It's off something square, but it's not... Well, it's warm, but not that warm. Hello. Hello. All the, all the doggies like me today. Yes. Yes. Sure, don't you come here and sit there? Well, lady over there. She saw a ball and then the dog would take it to anyone on the beach about her. <laughs> <laughs> took it to the wife, took it to me. Well, we may have ended up in Cornwall in the stormy season, but boy, it's worthwhile when you see these waves. Absolutely amazing as we came down the hill, seeing the waves crashing over the rocks, and it's just an incredible sight. Again, I doubt if we're gonna do much commentary on the beach with the wind blowing, but we're certainly gonna find what we can here at Senan Cove, small fishing village up in the far, far end, just short of Land's End in Cornwall. Aha, uh -huh. here is a sign warning us of the strong current. You can definitely see the sea was very strong. Poor old Phil was freezing to death. I found a lot of these on the beach. They were almost like little bags of air. I think that they were jellyfish that had been washed up and dried out and died. What a shame. There's another one. And there's another one. I love this seaweed. It reminded me of the squid ink spaghetti you see in packs sometimes. It was very long. It went on and on and there was lots of it on the beach. As you can see there looked like a giant had had a haircut and left all the hair lying on the ground. There's Phil, all on his own. Now this rope seemed to be dumped by the path but was covered in seaweed so I think this has possibly been washed in on the tide on a very vicious tide and right up over the wall and landed on the path but I could be wrong. Right, time to walk off this beach around and down to the beach where the harbour is, where the sea is much safer to be in. Oh, it's a little elf. Hello. Well, see. Oh, look at that. Very rustic seat, look at that. Yes, that's definitely rustic. Yep, that's a bit of something else from somewhere else. Gallery in there. Skin divers may use the western slip for launching their boats and will be charged £10 per boat. I can assure you, Phil and I had no intention of skin diving today.
They're assigned to so your members of the public are strongly advised to keep off the breakwater. Persons venturing onto the structure do so entirely at their own risk. Somebody had decided that they were going to take their life into their hands. The tide was out quite a distance so he wasn't going to get swept off the breakwater. Aha, here's a ball. We always find a ball. There wasn't a lot of this ball left. I decided, as we knew the tide was going out, I could just wander on, follow the tide down, see if anything has been washed in. So I wandered along, and I should have thought there was something wrong because this tide was going out very quickly. I wandered along, looking at the walls and the textures of the stone, and the tide was still going out. I wandered a little further down and spotted some interesting things, shells and creatures stuck on the wall. Hmm, let's have a closer look. We know we're okay because the tide is going out. Or is it? As we were looking at all the beautiful colours and textures, I realised that something was not right. You okay. grab it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're both wet it's now. Wet. Oh, look at that. He's wet, does it look? Yeah. Yep. Both got well, he's full of water. Oh, that's a little bit of something. It's definitely that's glazed on the yes. inside. I wonder what that was. Inside the bottle, do you think? It's a dip, dip, dip there. And that could have been where the pint was up inside the bottle, or possibly an insulator if it was the other way round. Hmm, what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Well worn. China. Mm. It's a glass. Very nice. Alright, there's a rock pool. I think we should go in. Come on, pop your wellies on. Let's go and see what we can find in the rock pool. Even if we don't find anything, we'll have fun paddling. It feels like a terracotta tile, but it's firmly fixed. That's not going anywhere. What's that white there? I think that's stuck tight too. Yep, another thing that's stuck tight. Here's a teeny tiny piece of sea glass. Very cute. Well, there's a teeny tiny fill. Let's go and have a look. What have we found? That's a bit of well-worn fiberglass. Yes, the, I think so. A bit off a board or something, you yep. know, and it's just worn right down. Nothing too exciting, but we'll take it home and put it in the bin. Now, I'm going to take my life into my hands. I've never yet put this camera under water, but I'm going to do it now. You can have a look and tell me if there's anything in there. So, if you get ready now, hold your breath because you're going underwater.
This is the slipway that the lifeboat can ride down to get into the sea very quickly in the case of emergencies. You can see all the seaweed that has got caught in the grids on the steps at the side. And we thought, let's have another little look along the edge before we make a move. So we wandered along and you can see the same sort of mini tsunami effect going on again. That tide is going out too quickly. Something's not right. Did we learn our lesson from last time? Hmm, what do you think? Here comes a little wave and feels a little cautious, but he's okay. He goes a little bit lower into the water. Here comes another wave, but he's okay. Then, oh, that was a little bit bigger. Perhaps maybe he should get out of the water now because... Oops! Not again! <laughs> Sending Cove, but I just had to show you this sign. Here's a bin. And it says, Please do not place any item, including children, on the top of this rubbish bin. I just thought that was amusing. Well, we may be wet and cold, but I think we've got time and the energy to go for one last beach. So come on, let's go for a drive to St. Ives and see if we can find anything on St. Ives Beach, even though we really should go home and dry our clothes off. Well, it's been so stormy this weekend as we visited Cornwall, but in 1597 there was a massive storm out there in the seas and two ships from the Spanish Armada headed in here to find shelter at St Ives. They were captured and the information that was gathered proved invaluable to Sir Walter Raleigh in his efforts against the Spanish Armada. A little bit of history from St Ives. Now we're going to have a little look in the harbour beach and see what we can find. This one's open and empty. And this one has actually got a resident inside and is firmly closed. did look like the rim of something, but I don't think it is. Hmm. Is that a bit of a crab's claw or something else? It's very thick. 
that. Oh, whatever that is. <laughs> a bit of ceramic with a bit of metal thingy in it. A bit of tile, perhaps. Yep, that looks like some tile. Not sure what that is. Oh, that's bendy. That's rubber. That's not. Hmm. I wonder if that's off one of those gross bottles, the beer bottles. Big lump of metal. I wonder what that's off. Is it off an old pirate ship? Or is it part of an old pier? Or is it just a lump of rubbish that's ended up on the beach? That's been in the sea for a while, so I'm going to go for something really romantic like part of an old pirate's galleon. Okay, we've got a little bit of pottery. It's terracotta with a black glaze on it. Not a lot of huge pieces of exciting things here. Nice sea glass. Oh, there's one for sea glass. Oh, look. Oh, there's quite a lot of just sea glass in this all area. That just, just here. Yes, yeah, if you look here, I can see some. There's yeah. a sharp piece. Here's a piece of pottery. It's all washed up at the same point. Another bit of pottery there. There we go. Another piece of filled pottery. Here's a piece of pottery. And a nice rounded piece of sea glass. Also a sharp bit, which is a little bit dangerous on the beach, so we'll take that with us. Yeah. See, that's a sharp bit there. Yep. Go there. Handful of bits and pieces. Oh, and more sea glass. And seen as we here, have a look. What's this? Some blue and white. Immediately. This is a good little pack. Oh, cheers, isn't it? Let's have a little look. We can't see anything else. That was a very interesting little pot of whatever's. I think this is. No, I think that's a shell. It's a bit of a mussel shell, I think. There's a patch of lumpy, bumpy things here, shells, stones, things like that. Let's have a look just in this area what we can see. Shout if you see anything. something that's a little bit of shell we've got a chunk of metal with a hole running right through it and a piece of tile right let's keep looking there's a ring pole and there's a piece of glass but it's not sea glass still very sharp And another little dinky shell. Another lump of metal with holes in. Oh wow! I didn't expect to find that. It's part of a clay pipe. Part of the stem is a huge piece, about two inches long. But what a nice find! I was watching Tom Burley's video where he found a piece of pipe stem on a beach and I told him how we never find pipe stems on the beach. So there you go Tom, we found a piece of pipe stem. What have you found? Some nice bits of sea glass again. That, they nice? That one there is nice and thick, look at oh, that, it's yeah. lovely and round, like a pebble. I like the different colours, they're all white, but different shades of white. I think that's a bit of earthenware, is it? Yes, it looks like. Let's keep looking in this one part, see what we can find. Well, there's another piece of metal there. Right, we got that, which is a piece of terracotta that was glazed on the inside. It's the rim, but not a lot left. Aha, sea glass. Only a little bit. Sea glass, a bit of green. There. broken shell and a double shell. Aha, look at this. A piece of green pottery. So all in all, quite good for a very small patch on the beach. Phil's found even more sea glass 
And as I'm talking and filming, I look down here and I've seen another piece. So there is a lot of sea glass in this area. And a bit of blue and white. So. Oh yes, very pretty. It's really nice that I can talk to you at the moment because the wind has been so bad that we're having to do a voiceover on a lot of the filming we're doing. But now you can actually hear me. So we'll have a little wander around these boats. This is the harbour. So as you can imagine, normally this would be full of water twice a day. But now we can go wander in amongst the boats, see what we can see. The ropes are covered in seaweed and algae and moss. And they go from little tiny ones like that right up through this size, which is quite nice. Oh, look at the bluebell with the little cabin. Very useful if it's raining. And you've got robust 19. But the one I like is right down there. I think you call that a catamaran because it has two hydrofoils, would you call them, on the bottom. But let's have a look what else we can see here. These are full of water, so he's had to wear his shoes for this part of the trip. Inappropriate footwear. Yes, yeah, so that's why he had to take a run and jump over the bit of puddle. Look at that. Isn't this lovely? It looks like a party boat because of all the floats that are all pretty colours, bright and shiny. This is a pretty shell. White on the bottom, brown on the edges. Somebody in there though, sleeping, so we put him back, ready for when the tide comes in. Harbours are open to everyone, but you have to be so careful, there are so many hazards, as you can see by Phil, just trying to get through all the ropes and chains. What have you got? Ooh, got some birds shouting at us. What have you found? Ooh, there's a good handful of bits and pieces. So we've got lots of bits and pieces there. Some ring pod. Oh, I found something similar to that. Brown pot, and there's another piece of it. So there must have been a big brown pot that's been smashed. There's a rim there. Look. Two ring poles. One rim. A bit of a ring pole. Lots of sea glass, a bit of tiles, and. Oh, that's really pretty. See that teeny bit at the top? Teeny you just put a stone on top there. Ah, right. Um, there? Yeah, try to remove it. Oh, look. The smallest bit of blue and white they found. Look at that, that's tiny. I spotted that on the floor. It was our way up, but I spotted the blue. Well, we're losing the light now here at St Ives. We've had a fantastic tour of the, the bottom heart, bit of the peninsula of Cornwall. We've managed to dodge the storms. We got caught in the wind. I got caught in the waves, as did Caroline. We both got soaking wet. I found lots and lots of bits and pieces, but I'm gonna give Caroline prize of the day at least here, because that little bit of pipe stem, it had to belong to a sailor, didn't it? How long ago? At least a century. Hope you've enjoyed it.
as much as we have and we'll see you again till the next time don't forget subscribe thumbs up comment and share it with a friend bye